Hey, 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 welcome back to our channel, fellow adventurers of the Grand Lion and fellow Mafia family members. Today's video, I want to dive into chapter 1098 and talk about a couple of the main points um, because this story takes a massive turn to the dark. If you've been journeying with us through the channel, you'll know that Oda's been foreshadowing, been storytelling, twisting up a tale of epic proportions. So today's content will be intense. But before we dive any further, I need you to hit that subscribe button please for me so we can grow the Mafia family. We are family. And then I want you to quickly, quickly, let me just play the intro guys. <laughs> Now let's set sail without delay and delve into the heart of the storm. Spoiler alert, huge capital letter. We're venturing into territory that will shake the very foundations of the One Piece world. We're picking up from a cliffhanger that had us all on edge. Jenny's abduction, an event that has shaken the One Piece community to its very core. Chapter 1098 titled The Birth of Bonnie. Oof, what a chapter. Isn't just about Bonnie and her birth. <laughs> it sheds light on a harrowing truth and dark, dark secrets of this world. Strap in. Seriously, strap in, guys, because Jenny's fate is so sad. So, so sad. Being forced to marry a celestial dragon and give birth to her beautiful baby. The only good thing that probably came out from that, from that marriage. So, yeah, this chapter has been a whirlwind of emotions, Revealing One Piece, a One Piece world that is gritty, dark, something that we didn't really think about. We know about its beauty, but the darkness that Oda has has hidden in the depths of, of the storytelling is incredible. I mean, for Ginny to die from a tragic disease, as you can see in the panels, the consequences that ripple out to affect so many lives, poor Kuma, honestly, he is heartbroken. And he, the way he absorbs all everyone else's injuries and pain and yet he can't find any happiness is truly heartbreaking. Really reminds me of Green Mile, the actor, the acting character in Green Mile. Um, and yeah, the narrative, what, this narrative that Oda has created has so intricate and impactful and amidst re these revelations, there are still questions that remain, mysteries that we as a community are itching to solve. The identity of the celestial dragons, like who exactly are these? Imari. The reasons behind Jenny's release and the implications of Bonnie's heritage. Because you can see, you can see how the Admirals, Smoker, how, how they're so keen to get Bonnie back and how upset they are about these characters. So what does, how does she actually tie in to the celestial dragons, to the world government? All these puzzles that we're eager to solve, but Oda will help us solve them as the journey continues, as we hit that climax. And Oda's storytelling reminds us that despite the darkness, there is light in the form of characters like Kuma, whose actions redefine what it means to be a father, a revolutionary, and a man of honor. The juxtaposition of characters like Dragon and Kuma present a compelling exploration of fatherhood and responsibility in a world as tumultuous as One Piece. So as we close the chapter, we're left with a mix of awe and anticipation. The path ahead is uncertain and undoubtedly filled with both danger and discovery. Share your theories, your thoughts and your emotions below. Please guys, I live for the comments because this journey isn't just mine or yours, it's ours. Thanks for watching and as always, guys, stay on that journey, stay forward, have a great rest of the week and peace out.